um, Second Peter three fifteen and sixteen gets into some of the other methods that apostates use. It says, "Furthermore, consider the patience of our Lord as salvation, just as our beloved brother Paul also wrote you according to the wisdom given him, speaking about all these things as he does in his letters." However, some things in them are hard to understand, and these things the ignorant and unstable are twisting, as they also do the rest of the scriptures to their own destruction. The material that you've been reading, you, you mentioned your questions started when you really started reading this material. No, they started a long time ago. Okay, well, yeah. um, even so. <laughs> Sorry, just to... No problem. It's good clarification if your questions started a long time ago. But it shows that even in this context. Anyone can take even somebody's writings like the Apostle Paul and his letters and twist them and use them for whatever they want. They could take a portion of a magazine or a portion of a book or a portion of a program and twist it in order to accomplish their own ends. And actually that scripture previously said they're slaves of their own appetites. So there's an agenda there too. Mm -hmm. It just kind of helps us stay informed as to what methods they're using because if we avail ourselves to that kind of information, it can very easily erode our faith in Jehovah. But if you're diligent to study exactly what they're saying, and you don't listen to people's opinions, that's the thing. You can't base your decisions off of people's opinions. You have to study it according to the scriptures. What do the scriptures say? Because that's the ultimate authority. So your you source of information, though. You're going to disgruntled people. Uh, you're trying to... Uh, find allegations of things. I'll give you an example. In the old yearbook, I don't know, it was back close to the 60s, there was a, uh, when they, no, it was in the 60s when the brothers started going to school. They took the brothers back to school and showed them what they should be doing. And there was a lot to learn then. They had a congregation servant and not a lot of things were doing. Some were just rubber stamps, the servants that were under him. So this really helped. So when they went back, and this was in the yearbook. There was a circuit overseer that had a girl in every port. Okay? The brothers had the courage to blow the whistle on him. There may have been brothers and sisters that had to have great faith in Jehovah until that was taken care of. And they went on record and printed it. Just before I moved to this circuit, there was a circuit overseer that had a girlfriend in the old circuit. His best friend's wife. Okay? I'm sure there are people that suspected that. I suspected something when he was, I was something he moved into his apartment. Just the, the relationship that was there turned light bulbs on in my head and I wondered, but he was circuit overseer. We wait and see how it works out. Two weeks later, there was a judicial committee formed. District overseer and two local brothers. And they dealt with the man. But there had to be ones that had to exercise faith Maybe even that husband had suspicions. He had to exercise faith and wait on Jehovah. If these brothers here, let's say that you're on our body of elders, he's our shepherd anyway, and I do something really bad, and you're aware of it, I do something really bad, and they dealt with me, but there's no announcement made from the platform maybe. Or it wasn't what you felt was deserving. It should have been something else, far more worse. Our, our, their obligation is to try to salvage me, not disfellowship me. Yes. Jehovah's Witnesses don't have judicial committees to disfellowship. they got judicial committees to save. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they have to disfellowship unrepentant wrongdoers. But you're not in any position to know. You have to have trust in these men. You bring up a really good point. The, the point that you made is that sometimes they don't make an announcement from the platform. And they don't make an announcement from the platform, in my understanding, is when nobody's aware of the situation. It was a private sin. Nobody else knows of it. Um, if people are aware of it and there is no disfellowshipping, they'll have a marking talk where they'll mark somebody. No, there could be um, a private but, reproof given to the but victims if it is and other people. public and people know, then there'll be a public reproof mm -hmm. because then everybody needs to know. So with things like, like this music where... The world now knows, and many Jehovah's Witnesses know. Wouldn't it be Christian-like, and in the best benefit for Jehovah's done, name? But maybe you you think that it needs international. Uh, I associate with a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, I just think that, it needs that, that aren't troubled by it at all. That aren't troubled by it at all. But 
But how do you know that maybe in the congregation where individuals were, um, I've made announcements, been brothers that have had me make announcements, when you get up and say, because this girl was privately reproved and she turned out to be pregnant, okay? That some of you are aware of a problem with such and such and such and such, just to let you know the elders have, are aware of it. I, I agree mm -hmm. completely. So okay. when this became public knowledge, wouldn't the Watchtower want to print? Because in the Watchtower they printed articles, like in the 83 Watchtower. No. Have no share with the demons and beware of the music that debases. No, no you're forgetting ecclesiastical privilege, you're forgetting a lot of different things. I just recently was called by the state, okay? They're not entitled to know what I, information I get as a minister. They're not entitled to. When it comes to child abuse, they are. They're not entitled. They, they can know the allegation, but they don't know where it came from, nor do they have to. I can share the allegation regarding, the, in fact, I have to. Legally, I have to. If it comes up, there's child endangerment, uh, it's shared with the state. They're very cooperative, and they understand that completely. But there may be a sister over here that's disgruntled because things aren't happening as fast as she thinks they should happen. But maybe there's litigation going on that would keep anything being done because of restraining orders and everything else. So the congregation wouldn't be doing anything for a while other than trying to help spiritually the situation that's there. And then when the legal restraints are done, they're following good advice, they will go ahead and deal with it. And I, I, I don't know whether you want to take over but, here or not, but, but these are things that you're not in a position to know. I'm not in a position to know unless I'm in that congregation. And I am not interested in going into this. That's not why we came here. We come here to help you. Now, I'm going to share something with you. Okay. I don't like any of these music videos. I don't remember the one you're speaking of. Mm -hmm. But we've got a number of them out that somebody has written and they're kind of freestyle and they play them. Personally, I don't like it, and I hope they go away. But I'm waiting on the organization. When the brothers, if there's a problem, they will take care of it. And when it disappears, you'll know it's been handled. You've got to have that confidence. Can we look at I have scriptures? that confidence. Now, can I share something with you? Yeah, yeah. And see, you keep making statements. Everybody knows, the world knows. I want to tell you, Jennifer, I don't know those things because I will not listen to misinformation. I do not believe everything that comes off the internet. I would caution you about that. I don't believe I don't. everything. Anyway, you said, has there ever been a situation where things Jehovah said, I'll take care of it later? This week, Jeremiah chapter 7, you heard the, you were, apparently were listening to the program. Yes. Jeremiah 7, 16, starting at 16. I'm just going to scan this. But verse 16, Jehovah tells Jeremiah, don't pray for this people. 7, 16 or 6? 7, 16. 7, 16. Okay. Don't pray for this people. In 17 and 18, do you see what, don't you see what they're doing? He says, the sons are gathering the wood, the fathers light the fire, and the women are making cakes to the queen of the heavens. Now, this is not a Christmas celebration, by the way. Some tried to use that. What this is linked with, this and collectively all of this, was that Baal worship. Mm -hmm. Do you know how long Jehovah let that go? In his people? Do you, do you have any idea? It was off and on and off and on and off it, and on. Because every time it, it would on. be... It never went away. Well, he would clean it out. He Like the destruction Elijah, in Jerusalem. They and killed off 850 of those priests. It never went away. It went on clear to the end of Jerusalem. What about like the times Hezekiah rebuilt and you know and destroyed all the temples? There there were times when they restored pure worship. Oh yeah, but the, the Baal worship never went away. And the Jehovah allowed it in the around. country. The people kept this going. This wasn't that long. See, Josiah had just cleaned things out again. But this never went away. People could, people could have found Jehovah then too. People could have found Jehovah during that period of time. Oh, yeah. people, people were finding him. This went on as Baal worship in Israel for hundreds of years. Was that Jehovah's people? The, the uh, nation of Israel and Judah when Israel went away? Was that Jehovah's people? Was it? I misunderstood the question. Was that still Jehovah's covenant nation? 
were they still in the law covenant, supposed to be worshiping him? Yes. Did they have a priesthood there in Jerusalem? Yes. yes. But Jehovah yes. took his spirit away every single time that they started committing sins and doing things that were against Jehovah's. He pulled his spirit away. They were defeated by nations. But it was they still were... his worship, his people. They were faithful people. But he turned his, his back on them. So if there's but things the thing going is, on in, it in went our on for organization. hundreds of years. What were faithful people supposed to do? Leave and start another church? No. You worked with the arrangement. It got taken care of. If there's something wrong, and if there is, like I said, I don't like those videos. So they don't get any sympathy from me. I don't say, oh, how pretty that is. Personally, I don't like it. But they, I'm not the one that makes these decisions. And I'm not going to get all riled up because of this. If it's what you say, first of all, I wonder, maybe a brother actually started this and those worldly composers stole it from him, see? So I don't know. And I don't have to know. Well, it was... It's an album that's been out for a little while. That doesn't mean a brother didn't write it and somebody stole it from him later. But the problem is, is like in the Watchtower, it says that we should know by looking at the cover of the album and everything. We research everything, right down to the very detail. They didn't, they, and all you I, have to do Jennifer, is... Jennifer, Jennifer. That's Jennifer. the cover of the album. But you see, do the you brothers see what, how wrong that is? The brothers didn't use that. They did use that. They used that. When you go to iTunes and you download, that's what's going to come up. That is not okay. They didn't use that. We can't something. be okay with this. You, you, I'm not okay with it, but I don't believe it. Just because somebody told you that, I I, I, I proved it. it. I listened to the video on his phone, and I listened to that song, and they're identical in every single way. And everybody on YouTube... All of the world knows this. There should, well, when they have Watchtower articles saying we need to be careful of the music that debases, yes. and then something like this happens, and I'm not saying it was done intentionally, but it definitely had to be known about. It'll, it'll be taken care then of. something should be printed in the Watchtower to say, you know, we are sorry, that, somehow a, a mistake that was you're made. Making. Give an example. He doesn't like the, the music, okay? Uh, I'm old enough in the truth to remember that it was wrong to dance with someone not your wife, unless it was your daughter, okay? You go to a wedding reception today and you'll find brothers dancing with other sisters, okay? Okay. I feel that's wrong. But I don't go in there and chase the money changers out of the temple. That's not my job. You'd be tempted to, but that's not my job. <laughs> yeah, it's not my job. And nor is it for me my job to go around and badmouth these guys, even though I have read literature that says you do not dance with anyone other than your wife, okay? All right. Other than, than your, maybe you, it's your daughter or, or someone like that. So this is evidence that there's some kind of something going on. What are you doing wrong. with demonic stuff in your house? Uh, this is this was approved by the governing body. So no, it wasn't. no that was not. I mean, it, it no, apparently no. was to be. No, played. it was not. It I had to be. It no. had to be. I have. I have. I, I, I don't. I'm not scared of the demons anymore. I have Jesus. I have Jehovah. They are more powerful than bring, any you demon. You don't bring demon stuff in your home, though. But just remember that we were warned that the devil keeps transforming himself into an it's, angel of light. You might check it out. These are from the Revelation book. This was in my home, and I had to get rid of it. There's a, a face in his hand. There's a demon claw on the angel's hand. The last time I was done, this is the phone. No, I'm, this is upsetting, and I, I really I, need I, I to can, address this. I'm not I, going to look at them. Don't get them up. Because you're scared yeah. to. No. Because this is in our publications. It's offensive to them. It is offensive, that and it's in God's in publications. publications. It is. All right, Jennifer, the conversation has turned adversarial. It ends here.